Help me ducks, it's Simon here. So I'm popping on today. Now I have taken all the sellotape and everything off this this box, um, but I've not opened uh, this yet. So this was a lovely surprise today in the post because I'd completely forgotten um, that this deck was being sent. So Melissa, who is the creator of this Dachshund Tarot, I think it's called the Low Rider Dachshund Tarot, um, sent me an email um, beginning of December, so a good three months ago, and said that um, she really enjoyed my channel, she enjoyed my reviews, and could she um, send her deck? which she has up on Etsy. All the information will be below. If this is a deck that um, you like and you want to order, um, then, um, yeah, the information will be there. And I saw some of the images and they were absolutely um, charming. And I was like, yes, I'd, I'd love it if you, uh, if you wanted to send me a copy of your deck which is what we have here there's a couple of little bits and bobs on the inside so oh, i mean the the presentation is lovely i'm really loving this so yeah the low rider uh dachshund tarot now there's i've heard many different ways for uh the pronunciation of that um my family and as i was growing up i mean other than calling them their nicknames which are sausage dogs um i used to hear them called uh dash hounds or dash huns. um but it's it's german dach dach hund is um badger dog um, translated to english from from german because these dogs were breed uh, bred to go down uh, badger holes um, so yeah, so this is the low rider, uh, Dachshund Tarot. So let's see what we've got here. We've got a thank you card, uh, from Tarot Doxes, and it's, uh, Melissa Weatherspoon is the creator, Tarot and Lenormand creator and reader. So this is her business card. Um, and she's put, thank you so much. I hope you enjoy these cards so that's really lovely nice business card um so what we've got here authentic low rider tarot deck limited edition created by m oh it's wotherspoon rather than witherspoon sorry and this is deck 198 of 650 and she signed them uh, the copyright is 2019 so this came out last year i think in these must be the backs of the cards because we have a card here um, and this is the death card which is beautiful love the artwork the cards feel really nice quality as well so oh it's an alternative death card so she's put this is an alternative death card with text it depicts my friend's dog Lola in her last photo she is the black and tan so that's lola there on the left um also in the picture giving her a nose check is her brother zeus how gorgeous and you know what i i you know i'm a dog lover i can't have pets living where i live um it's not allowed um but if i did have any pets i'd have dogs and i really enjoy my friends dogs and you know you don't have to in my opinion you don't have to um you know necessarily be a um owner of a dachshund or that's you know it's i just think if you love dogs <laughs> then it doesn't matter the breed really does it you can get enjoyment from decks such as this so let's remove the the film box is superb really nice sturdy box um quite a nice size i'm trying to think of what it would compare to um let's have a look maybe the closest one would be the light seers 
Taro. Um, pretty much the light series is a little bit bigger, but it's that sort of that sort of size. On the side it says the long and short of it. <laughs> the long and short of it. Love that. Um, and then for your shelf on the spine you've got the low rider dachshund taro um, and then on the back we've got a photograph and it says may the little low riders in this deck bring you insight and comfort this deck is dedicated to stella and all of the creatures who change us for the better and it's a lovely magnetic box and under the flap it says wishing you a beautiful journey and we've got two magnets that hold it together so the presentation of this packaging is is beautiful so let's have it oh and then on the inside just look at that that's gorgeous <laughs> so we've got a book this is really good quality and um, companion to the low rider tarot by um, Melissa Wotherspoon. And then let's have a look on the inside. Please do not copy without permission. And there's information. So there's an email address. There's the Etsy shop where you can find this. The remaining lowrider decks are sold from Etsy. Um, and then we, you could look on Instagram for tar tarot doxes and Facebook Low Rider Tarot. So that's all the places where you can find more information about the deck or contact Melissa. So there is a backstory here. So in, in November 2017, I made the very difficult decision to say goodbye to my best dog, the little red Dachshund Stella. So that's who this deck is, you know, a, a tribute to, which is just lovely. Two days later, on a whim, I wandered into a psychic fair and sat down with a medium whose first words to me were, there's a dog here. The hours, sorry, the hour that followed was like the lightning bolt in the tower card. At the end of it, the medium pulled out a Rider Waite Smith deck and my past flooded in. As I hadn't seen that deck, the one I used on a daily basis since my teens in my and early twenties, even though I had set terror aside to make way for life stuff, it was like having a conversation with an old friend. I immediately went out and picked up an RWS deck, then a few more, and a few more after that. <laughs> I can relate. Using tarot as a tool for processing grief, I hesitantly ventured into doing readings for others, and in giving people guidance, my grief was lessened. Find an amazing group of tarot lovers on Facebook, big shout out to tarot nerds, blew the door wide open. And then, a year later, with Stella's death still weighing heavily on my mind, I realised I needed a creative project to dive into. Again, the thought came to me in a flash. A Dachshund-themed tarot deck. Following the initial idea, each card design came out strangely easily. And each 10 by 8 oh, sorry, I read that completely the opposite way around. 8 by 10 oil painting, for the most part, seemed to paint itself. I won't read all of it, because obviously, you know... <laughs> It'll be nice if you buy the book and, and read a bit more, but there is uh, a page and a bit for each card. It's a nice deck, and there's some space at the back for uh, a nice book. Sorry, there's some space at the back for notes as well. So that's the companion book that you get with it. How many pages? 116 page companion book. So let's have a look at the cards beautiful beautiful box and what i like about this as well we've got this little bone underneath a half buried bone this is like a um cushioned a cushioned felt which is really nice lovely thick sturdy ribbon as well heavy duty but i like that because you know there'll be no damage or anything to the cards let's pop them there and these are in landscape, which makes it very unique because for tarot deck, we don't very often see them landscape or we'll get some that are landscape, some that are portrait. 
Um, what we're going to do is zoom in so we can have a closer look. Yeah, so that's about a good position to be in. Um, I love, 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 love the colours. They're really um, vibrant, nice, dark, deep colours. Let's have a look at the size. So this is a, a template, standard uh, US games. And it's a little bit shorter, a little bit narrower, but a nice size deck. Um, the backs, I think, are the same. Yeah, so these are the backs, which is this lovely uh, Dachshund kind of infinity lemniscate symbol here with this universe background. Really lovely. It's a nice thick deck. Cardstock is, it's almost got like a linen feel. It isn't linen, but it's got that really nice waxy feel. It's nice, it's nice card stock. Okay, so let's have a look through. So as I said, we've got a fall on the edge of this cliff. You can just make out here, lovely butterfly. Here's our magician. We've got the lemniscate there. And he's in this kind of swirling... Um, I was going to say water, but I don't think it is water, but it's obviously gone in to fish something out. <clears throat> the high priestess, <laughs> I like what they've done here. The black and white pillars are cushions on this chair. So we've got the B and the J and we've got the triple moon here for the priestess. The empress is gorgeous. So we've got all the symbology that we're used to seeing in the RWS. And remember, um, Melissa said at the beginning of her book that the RWS system was a tarot deck that was very familiar to her. Um, so she's combined her two loves. Oh, look at that emperor. Love it. I love the deep, rich red background of this card. Pop a bit of light on, I don't know. The trouble is light gives it a glare, so we won't. But lovely deep reds. Gorgeous. The Hierophant. We've got the Hierophant's book. We've got the cross keys. Our lovers. That's a cute card, isn't it? Tucked up together. <laughs> And anybody who's got two dogs, I mean, uh, Becca's got two dogs. My friend, he's got two dogs. I went to stay with in Wales. My other friend who I meet every Sunday um, has two dogs. They're just, when you get them like that, they do become inseparable. The chariot. Wow. I remember seeing a dog once a few years ago that didn't have any back legs um, <clears throat> and he had a device like this with wheels that helped him move along. This dog does have back legs but it could be that they're, they're not working properly. Um, oh, look at that sky. How beautiful. Gorgeous. Here we have our hermit. Love how this is moonlit. I love the reflection of the moon on the water. You can just see the rays of the moon above. Really beautiful. The Wheel of Fortune. We've got the Taurus spelt here with the little uh, jumpers that they're wearing. <clears throat> and then we have the hanged man <laughs> oh that's cute that's really cute looking for his buried bones death now remember we've got two deaths that we can choose from um 
we have this one, which has this huge butterfly to illustrate the transformation. Or we've got this one, which has personal, um, you know, a personal story. I like them both. It'd be hard to uh, to actually choose. I think this one, because I know the backstory as well, and that little farewell kiss is really beautiful. But then so is this. I'll have a think. <laughs> Temperance. I love the combination of the pink and the blue. The devil. Ooh, little ears being pegged back. I love the fact he's wearing a little dog collar with a pentacle on it. Obviously inverted to represent the, the symbol within the devil card. Beautiful, rich red background. Looks very sad. The tower. Our star card. Got this symbol there for water. The astrological association. The moon. Wow, look at this wolf in the crescent moon looking back. What a powerful card. The sun. We have judgment. So we have the flag with the red cross, the trumpet. <clears throat> and then we have the world. Not sure why he's in a frying pan. I'm not sure if the book also gives you um, just an interpretation or something about the, um, the artist's depiction. Yes, it does. <clears throat> so this is George, it says, and this is great because we can see in the book. So it says, George is depicted here in a situation that is not uncommon for our household. After a meal is cleaned out of a frying pan, we lay it down on the, uh, for the dogs to enjoy. This is known as the pre-clean cycle. Often, after the pre-clean cycle, George realises he fits into the frying pan and climbs in to enjoy the retained warmth in the pan. George has a very short, smooth coat and a touch of alopecia. And three of our seasons require at least a sweater. This has prompted the nickname Poor George, Porge. <laughs> Poor George or Porge or Porgy. But sitting in his pan, George is victorious. He has partake, uh, participated in the pre-clean cycle and he is in harmony with the warm pan. Nothing can ruin the moment. Closure and completion is symbolised in this round shape of the pan, which symbolises success. Four elements are symbolised here. Uh, fire in the frying pan itself, water, cloud vapour, air as George floats above the land and the earth. Wow. And then, <clears throat> excuse me. And then it goes on to give the card uh, divinatory meaning and some keywords. And there's a section for notes as well. So I really like that we can get, and I wish all creators did this really, you know, give us the, the what's the inspiration behind the depiction that they've created. Oh, the colours and artwork is stunning. We've got our Ace of Wands. I'm going to go more quickly for through the uh, Miners. The two. They're just beautiful. Really beautiful. Look at that. A five. <laughs> Six. Wow. Eight. So the tails are representing those swift uh, ones that fly through the air. Nine and ten. That's lovely. Page is our knight looking through a 
against a mirror. Queen and King of Wands. Then we have our cups. Little dog bowl there is the cup. That's what a dog's going to use for a cup. <laughs> Two. Oh, real love. Three. Little pups. Four. A sense of uh, being offered something. And that sort of lack of interest. <laughs> it's just like, what's going on? And he's like, oh, here's a bone for you. <laughs> it's not really going to do the trick. Five. Six. Seven. I like that we've got the silhouette like we have in the RWS, the silhouette man with the different cups with different things on offer. And here we have it with these clouds, like a bone and a rabbit. Oh, look at our little page of cups. <laughs> Instead of having the fish jumping out of the cup, it's actually imprinted onto it. These are stunning, stunning pieces of art. Our Ace of Swords. Two of Swords. Wow. Oh, we've got a human in this one for the Four of Swords. And there's the Four Swords there for that rest. Having a rest together. These are really good quality. Love that. Out in the snow. So normally we have that kind of feeling of being trapped or enclosed by the swords, but he knows his way through. Nine. Ten. Wow. That's interesting. It's like a, an x-ray picture with showing little points, arrows depicting little areas. Page. And then we have our final suit, our pentacles, which is gorgeous. I love this in a coin. I'm sure that's done purposely, but they look like little dog biscuits. <laughs> little duck! <laughs> On it, little duck. Three of Pentacles. I love that. That's a brilliant, brilliant version of the Five of Pentacles. <clears throat> Cat. <laughs> That's exactly the same as my remote control. <laughs> and dogs just lean on it. Where's the remote? Eight pentacles. Nine. I love the reflection in the sunglasses so we can see what they're looking towards. A luscious kind of outdoors. A ten. Oh, page of pentacles with his Rubik's cube. Knight. Queen. And our king with a cow licking his lips. <laughs> Clearing the plate. Oh, okay. And then we, I like that. So 
we've got the alternative um let me zoom out for this a minute so we have the alternatives with the number and, and title on so 13 death same here and you can choose which one but she's also put in um, one without any title which is a beautiful print it's like an art card and isn't that just stunning really gorgeous so i'm gonna have that out on my little box there wow so this is the low rider um well however you want to pronounce it really as we've we've, we've talked about how it's um Dachshund is how, you know, it's translated from German. Some people say Dachshund, Dachshund, um, but yeah. So the Lowrider Dachshund Tarot by Melissa Wotherspoon. Um, and it's absolutely, absolutely delightful. And I'm so impressed by the, the, the packaging as well. Um, to put these cards in here, they feel really safe and protected and this, no, this is lovely soft um you know to protect the cards and the book it's just a beautiful beautiful set so thank you Mel melissa for sending this to me uh thank you everybody for watching let me know your thoughts again if you want to get this deck i'll link it below it's on etsy um they are numbered it is a limited edition um of 650 so and this is 198 of those 650 so all right guys until next time go in peace namaste and blessed be